You want to support Roller March Unfiltered? Be sure to join our Bring the Funk fan club. Every dollar that you give to us supports our daily digital show. There's only one daily digital show out here that keeps it black and keep it real as Roller Martin Unfiltered. Support the Roller Martin Unfiltered daily digital show by going to rollermartinunfiltered.com. You can make this possible. Let's go to San Diego with the San Diego Police Department, folks. Uh, they have launched an internal investigation after video was shown of two officers repeatedly punching a black man during an arrest this week. Now, according to the department, folks, this all began when the officers saw this man urinating in public. They detained him when he did not respond to them and booked him on jail on charges of resisting arrest and battery of a police officer. I mean, again, again, Brittany, see, this is the thing that that we every time we do one of these stories, the first thing you say is, how did it all start? Yeah. OK, so you saw a guy urinating in public. Uh, or a misdemeanor charge, or you pull somebody over for a traffic light. I mean, th this is this is what people are talking about. How you have to have police who de-escalate and not escalate. Roland, you hit the nail on the head. I'm thinking about how this started for urinating urinating they didn't try to de-escalate the situation whatsoever and that man didn't go out looking for a problem with them or looking to harm those officers yet he ended up brutalized and then in prison now Roland I went to Temple University for undergrad and folks loved to party there there used to be white frat parties every night and those same frat bros would go right outside on Broad Street and urinate for everyone to see oftentimes underage with their beers still in hand. And you and I both know that this would not have happened to one of them. So what's exhausting is that this isn't about urinating in public. It's about a constant criminalization of the homeless. And at the end of the day, the homeless are a part of our community too. So the police, if they're truly to be protecting and serving, should be protecting mm -hmm. and serving the homeless mm -hmm. as well because they're a part of our community. Yeah. And, and I, I just feel like, can you imagine what our world would be like if the police just help this man instead of actually harming him? Um, Michael, again, this is the thing that 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 what people are demanding. They're demanding real accountability. And you got to have cops who know, again, not, you know, not to escalate, who understand that. And there are examples of it. But the problem is there's too many tough guys uh, who are walking around with badges and guns who don't like it when someone questions their authority. And, and then they know, oh, I could beat the hell out of them and I'm going to get commended. Yeah, especially when it's someone who appears to be homeless as well, when it appears to be somebody who's marginalized, has less resources, 
you feel that they have less recourse to retaliate against you. They don't know the mayor. They don't play golf with the police chief. Things like this, right? You you, you have things like this to take place. But it, for it to start from urinating in public, and then the one of the officers uh, questioned him, he would not stop. Uh, therefore, one of the officers held him to detain him. It's just to, to, to escalate to something like this. I'm like, how, how many white people do, do you all stop because they're urinating in public? OK, I know if they have the country music festival or the hold down or things like this, like we have here in, in, in Detroit. I know you have white people urinating in public. I've seen them do it here in Detroit. So, uh, you know, once again, this is this is an example why some people don't need to be police as well. You know, something like this is ridiculous to, 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 to escalate from from urinating in public. Uh, it, it, you know, this doesn't make any sense. They. I, I concur with everyone. This behavior was absolutely criminal, what they did to this homeless man. And it just it just speaks to why so many of us around this country want to reform policing. I mean, it needs to go from an area of policing to public safety. And was he doing anything that was uh, going to stop the public from being safe? No, he needed to use the restroom. And he's homeless. And many homeless people also deal with mental illness, which all these things are tied together. I mean, this is just absolutely ridiculous. And this is why we're sick and tired of being sick and tired, and we need to have real conversations in our state legislatures, in our municipal governments, about how we deal with policing and make them do the right thing and stop just every week going through this over and over. It's a cycle. It's, and it's, you know what? It's over. It's overrated. It's, it's, it's too much, and it's enough. We got to stop. This is too much. They need to go to jail. Both of them. Uh, Alright folks, back to our whole Mark Unfiltered video in just one moment. It's time to be smart. When we control our institutions, we win. We win. This is the most important news show on television of any racial background. Y'all put two, three, four, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, thirty dollars on this and keep this going. What you've done, Roland, since this crisis came out in full bloom. Anybody watching this, tell your friends. Go back and look at the last two weeks, especially of Roland Martin Unfiltered. I mean, hell, go back and look at the last two days. You've had sitting United States senators today, Klobuchar and Harris. Whatever you have that you have, you can bring to Roland Martin Unfiltered to support it. Please do, because this information may literally save your life. Watch Roland Martin Unfiltered daily at 6 p.m. Eastern on YouTube, Facebook, or Periscope, or go to RolandMartinUnfiltered.com. Support the Roland Martin Unfiltered Daily Digital Show by going to RolandMartinUnfiltered.com. Our goal is to get 20,000 of our fans contributing 50 bucks each for the whole year. You can make this possible. RolandMartinUnfiltered.com.